everybody, and welcome to episode 76 of the Let's Play World. I've been noticing some really interesting and glitchy things with 1.18. Like right here is a chunk border. You can kind of see right where those chests are, there is a chunk border. And every time I cross that chunk border, my game staggers. See it? If I run back over here and I do it again. Just does a little hiccup. It's really weird, and I can't figure out what's going on with that. Glitchiness aside, there's a couple things I want to do today. One is I want to show off some of the work I've been doing between episodes. You can see the building is definitely taking form. I did put some glass in and some uh, sidewalk around, so it's starting to look a little bit more finished. And most of the work we're going to do today is going to be over there. Yeah, it does it down here too. When I cross, it'll pause right at that chunk border. Only when I go this way. Isn't that weird? So I decided to go with cyan glass because it's kind of gray adjacent. You know, it's not real contrasty. Kind of keeps that nice old world look. And then as I did with the other skyscrapers, started lining the inside with stone so we can't see across the whole skyscraper. And I think it's looking really good. So I have been adding in sidewalk as we go along here and that looks fantastic. Plus, I was working on an entrance. I had said I wanted there to be an awning over the entrance, and I think this looks pretty cool. Once we have doors and everything in there, this will be a nice and a classic entrance. And most of our episode today, I want to spend on this corner here. I want to, on the ground floor, build a coffee shop. What I want to do is have some windows here so we can see into the coffee shop, and I want it to be just real stark and modern. I'm a pretty big David Lynch fan. David Lynch drinks a lot of coffee, and I'm going to take some inspiration from Twin Peaks and do a lot of black and white and red inside. And then online I saw a picture of a coffee cup sign, and so I think we're going to use some inspiration from that as well. Well, that is a very lynchy looking space. I don't know if you guys watch David Lynch movies or if you're familiar with Twin Peaks, but he likes these really surreal kind of environments. And this is definitely something that he would make. So we have this nice floor and a bunch of space, kind of an accent wall, and then some kind of tile it looks like back here. I just have a little bit of glow light and we definitely need to light this place up. And then I have a counter. And so the next thing I want to do is figure out where the door is going to be, where we could put a couple of tables, and then kind of decorate with some coffee making appliances, things like that. Admittedly, interiors is one of my weak spots. I'm not very good at it, and I don't do a lot of them, so this will be interesting to see how this goes.
pretty good looking coffee cup. I'm pretty happy with that. So when people see that, they will walk up to our corner and you can see all the glass here with the entryway. And when they walk into the space, we've got a little booth and then two full-size booths with some pendant lights. And then over here, we've got our coffee making machines and our supplies and then some coffee cups, that sort of thing. I think it looks really, really good. There's a couple of cheats I did. I didn't do any sides on this booth because this is glass and there's no room for a sign here. On these booths, I actually didn't have room here, but I replaced the wall with a solid block. And at a glance, you can't even tell. Here, if I would have put this chair here and then table chair, you can't have two trapdoors occupying the same block. So I just scooted this guy over and just had a single chair at this booth. But again, it looks totally fine. Once we have more buildings in here, we can add more shops, more storefronts, that sort of thing. And once it's all filled in, I think it'll look really, really busy and very interesting. Let's do a few updates here. So Aeon Center, that's the big white building. It can come off the wall of tasks. Coffee shop, built that today, and that can come off the wall of tasks. So I wanna turn our attention momentarily from the city to the zoo. The zoo is going to be a huge project and we really haven't gotten much of a start at all yet. So far we've just built a gate and that's it. We still need to build the bridge from the city to the zoo. And then I've come up with some different biomes that I think we want represented. And in my free time I've been doing some sketches to try and figure out what the layout is going to look like. And then making lists of what mobs are going to be in these different areas. Now there are some mobs that I am just not interested in getting. For example, villagers. They do count as a mob and there's lots of different variants, but we have a trading hall and I just don't think villagers belong in a zoo. Also like an elder guardian, there's just not that many of them out there and they're super dangerous and they're hard to transport. And if we had one in the zoo, every time we visited the zoo, we would get this jump scare and we would get mining fatigue. And that just doesn't sound fun. There's other mobs, for example, like a ghast, who will be very dangerous and tricky to transport, but I think that might be worthwhile at some point. There's three different categories of mobs. There's passive, there's neutral, and there's hostile. Passive are like cows and pigs, and we'll find different passive mobs in all of these different biomes here. There are neutral mobs like llamas or iron golems who don't fuss with you as long as you don't mess with them, and we'll capture a bunch of those. And then of course there are the hostile mobs, We'll have an area for things like zombies, creepers, and some of the nether mobs are also hostile. Basically, I just wanted to let you guys know that I haven't forgotten about this project. We've just been really focused on the village and the city, and both of these are just huge projects, and I haven't been very good at juggling them. So what we'll do once I have a pretty firm plan on the design of the zoo is we'll start laying it out and clearing the area and building that, and then we can spend time capturing mobs and transporting them and building little biomes for them. You know, I backed up my game and I optimized all the chunks and I'm still getting that lag when I cross that border right there. It kind of just pauses for a, a second there. Only when I head in this direction. Right there, it stops for a moment. Find that way. Lag that way. Uh, it's interesting, if I go this way, I'm okay, but if I go this way, I get lag right there too. You know, maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a sign that we need to go build somewhere else. Uh, who knows? If you guys have any ideas for fixing glitchy chunks or things like that, leave them in the comments because I'm always interested in researching that stuff. I think that's where I'm going to wrap this one up. I've got a lot of work I've been doing over on the SMP with the carnival, and I've been really excited about that just because I've been doing a lot of redstone designing and some games and things like that, and it's almost finished and ready to open for the other mindful members. So... Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had fun. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.